Hello, my name is Kim Whipple, and I'm a Kingdom Technical Advisor at IHS Market, bringing you another Kingdom Did You Know? Do you remember the card catalog, the Dewey Decimal System, trying to find all those books on the library shelves based on a card in a drawer smelling of dust? Can you imagine trying to find your kingdom projects using a card catalog? Somewhere in the office, a drawer full of kingdom projects listed on a piece of paper that are outdated the minute somebody updates Wells. Thankfully, with kingdom data management, it allows you to catalog and inventory your projects automatically, keeping an up-to-date catalog of everything that's available in your kingdom projects and when it was last updated. You can also do data transfer between Kingdom projects utilizing uh, coordinate transformation. Let's go ahead and take a look at those features now. Kingdom Data Management is a separate license within the Kingdom application. It's a separate icon on your desktop, and it allows you to work with multiple Kingdom projects by doing project comparisons looking for similarities or differences between projects. So if you've made multiple copies, like you see here on my screen, um, it can tell you the difference between those two copies and what is more current, what has more information in it, more wells or surveys, or differences of last modified dates on, say, horizons or grids, faults, those types of things. It also allows you to convert your project databases. So if you're converting between SQL Express to full SQL, or vice versa, or SQL to Oracle, all that database conversions can happen within the Kingdom Data Manager tool. Also allows you to build a catalog of your projects. So here I've done a project I'm looking at a specific folder on my computer. You can add many different project locations. So if this is on a network location, it lets you do a, a list only to find just the TKS files that exist in those directories a partial uh, query, or a full inventory report. So you can see that the inventory of each one of these projects tells you what direction it is or where directory where it's stored, when it was last updated, those types of things. You also have the capability to do uh, the queries like I mentioned. So if you're looking within a specific project, you want to find all wells that have an elevation reference less than 100 feet, then you can put these um, expressions or search terms within here, put many different ones in here, and be able to find the uh, results within each one of those projects without having to open the project to get that information. The tool also allows you to use the project transfer within the Kingdom project from the project menu. You'll see the option for Kingdom Data Transfer. This is only available if you have that KDM license. If you're in the project that you want to receive the data, choose the project that you want to pull the data from, and you can click to browse to a different project. So if I come into my projects and I'm coming to my TKS file, I'm now going to be using from the uh, Teapot Dome project. Choose the author that you want to pull that information from. Since this is going to be author-defined information coming into this author for this project that I'm receiving the data to, you can choose with your four holes where based on well subsets, surveys, horizons, grids, faults, and polygons. And for the well information, you can load in. It will take the deviation surveys, time depth charts, production data for monthly production only, digital logs, formation tops, picked intervals, and fault cuts will all come with those wells. And you can also select wells based on a polygon or all data within a polygon and choose to add all appended data. So everything that was within that polygon will come into the uh, project that you're again receiving the data to. You could also uh, save this as a template if this is a project or an option that you're trying to do on a daily basis or weekly or monthly. This could be an option for you to be able to um, save that as a template. We do not care what the coordinate system is of the um, project that you've connected to. We will do perform the coordinate transformation as you move that data into this Kingdom project as well. So all of that will happen on the fly. 